right. So this is going to be how to how to uh, to scale up your Amazon business using eBay. Uh, it's pretty easy. You can gain an extra up to ten percent uh, sales volume by just listing things onto eBay. Um, if you're like me and you're using Amazon FBA, that means you're sending your inventory into Amazon and allowing Amazon to ship for you to the customer. You could simply add some listings on eBay and you can have Amazon fulfill your orders for you. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So basically what's going to happen is if you have a hundred listings on Amazon, you can just simply open up an eBay account and you can add those hundred products onto eBay. Now the sales volume is going to be quite a bit lower, but there's a lot less fees on eBay. So you'll be able to potentially have a little bit more profit margin. Uh, one little tip that I would definitely suggest is if you are selling a product on Amazon at $59.99, you should list it on eBay for, for less than your Amazon price, even if it's just a couple dollars. So, you know, if it's $59.99, maybe I'll list it at $54.99. The reason I'm going to do that is because when I fulfill my order from Amazon to my eBay customer, they're going to get their product in an Amazon box. Um, nine times out of 10, they're going to immediately look on Amazon for the item they just purchased. If that item is selling for less on Amazon, they may want to return the item and just purchase it on Amazon for the cheaper price. Okay. Basically because they're going to know that you had it on Amazon for cheaper and you charge them more for it just because um, some people might not be happy with that. So I would always suggest dropping it a little bit lower. <clears throat> um, and again, the sales volumes are quite a bit less, but an extra 10% is an extra 10%. So let's just say, for example, you have all your eBay listings live um, and then you get an order. So what's going to happen is you're going to get an eBay uh, email. It's going to give you your customer's name, uh, their delivery address and all that stuff. And then what you're going to do is let's just say they wanted to purchase this battleship game. And I had that on eBay, $39.99, probably listed it on eBay for $34.99. And let's say I made a sale. Then I would simply just go over here. I would go to create a fulfillment order. That's going to bring you in to this fulfillment order page, which is going to allow you to put your information of your eBay customer in here. So you're going to put the name, address, all that stuff. And then you could put a comment, whatever you want to do, uh, your amount that you're going to send. And then you're just going to hit continue. Then it's going to bring you to another page. That's going to allow you to pick uh, what type of shipping you want. So on your eBay listing, you can actually uh, let the customer choose if they want the standard shipping. That's fine. If they want express shipping, that's fine as well. You could charge them an extra couple bucks and just have it shipped to them next day through Amazon. Um, after the, after you do this and then Amazon actually packs and preps your stuff and ships it out, Amazon is going to give you a tracking number. You're going to take that tracking number and you're going to put it into your, into the eBay uh, you're going to give that to your eBay customer. So then that person will be able to track their package. So eBay can be very good. It can be very, you know, some products sell better on eBay than on Amazon. Not many, but some of them do. Um, I'd like to kind of think of eBay as like the garage sale and Amazon is like the retail storefront. So, eBay can be really good for a few things, um, especially if you're just going to, you know, list stuff because you already have things on Amazon. You might as well just list them on eBay and create a couple more sales. Um, this whole process where somebody has to actually put in the information, I actually sub that out to virtual assistants overseas, either in the Philippines or Pakistan. And uh, so they'll just wait for emails. And once the emails come in, they simply just have to go to my products on Amazon uh, when I give them the temporary access. And then they can put all the information in and then they can make the order happen. Uh, another good 
good thing uh, when it comes to Amazon and eBay that I like to do. So a lot of times uh, you'll get like returns or damaged items or whatever on eBay or on, sorry, on Amazon. What I'd like to do is I take all of those items and I ship my items to a prep center or some kind of inspection center of some sort. Uh, they're going to look at all these unfulfillable items on my, e on my Amazon account. They're going to look through all the items and they're going to tell me which ones are good, which ones are not. Um, anything that's good, I will probably send back to Amazon. That way I can fulfill them through Amazon or through eBay. And then anything that is open box at this point, so considered as used because the box is open, not in its original packaging, but not damaged, those would be some things that I would add new eBay listings with and just hold them at the prep centers until they're ready to be sold or your warehouse or wherever it is. So eBay's really good at kind of, like I, like I said, like a garage sale. So when you have those open box items and stuff that come back from all your sales on Amazon, you just have somebody look at it. And instead of trying to sell refurbished or, uh, you know, reused or open box items on Amazon, um, I just sell most of my stuff on eBay. So uh, that's just a little bit, a couple little tips from Amazon to eBay. Um, once I did this, the sales definitely did increase, not much, but um, you know, once you start having four or five item, four or 500 items live on your Amazon account to get an extra 10% of sales, you know what I mean? 30 to 40 extra sales kind of a week or whatever, it's going to, it's going to make a big difference as you start to scale. So, um, and it'll be easier to start this at a very small level. So just having one or two items perhaps listed on Amazon or on eBay at the time will allow you to uh, be able to scale up without having to list a hundred items at once. But I definitely encourage using multi-platforms. Um, it just gives you more options. It allows you to be more flexible. Uh, it allows you to, you know, sell those refurbished or used items better on eBay for sure. And uh, grows your profit anywhere from, you know, 5%, 10% extra. So that's a little bit of Amazon eBay tips. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be creating a few videos how to actually process these orders. Uh, I'm just waiting for an order on eBay to be able to fill it through a video. So we'll see you then.